3,000 to 5,000 medically fragile children are expected to have remote learning options, which includes a licensed teacher being sent to the student's home or a digital option. Medically necessary instruction and are expanding it to include um, the use of our in-person teachers going to students' homes, um, but also leveraging virtual pl pl platforms to provide online learning. These are the medical conditions that qualify for remote instruction. Asthma is not on the list. Disappointing to say the least, 14% of the population of under 11 year olds in New York City have asthma. Jennifer's 10 year old son, August, has asthma. The thought of going to school for fifth grade triggers his anxiety. It's saying my son doesn't matter. Well, he definitely matters. I mean, he's the most important thing in my life. He's all I have. The only child we have. Compared to 2020, testing will be less, but five times the number of children in school buildings. 10% of all unvaccinated students will be tested twice a month. Students will wear masks and have to sit three feet apart where possible. Anyone vaccinated who is not symptomatic, adult or child, even if there's been contact, they're going to stay in school. Which is not the case for students under 12, too young for the vaccine. One positive COVID case will shut down an elementary school classroom. Those students can either quarantine for 10 days or show a negative test after seven days to return to the classroom. Their classroom teacher will instruct them online during quarantine. When uh, children are not yet eligible for vaccination, that does tip uh, the balance um, more strongly toward ensuring that uh, we aggressively try to break any chains of transmission uh, within classrooms and schools. A 30 day stock of PPE and two air purifiers in every classroom is not enough to comfort Jennifer or August. I already have anxiety. I want to go to school, but you know, my friends aren't, you know, my friends aren't worth my, my life. You know, my education is not worth my life.